Good day. In this video, I will be discussing development communication materials and their different attributes or characteristics that make them different from other communication materials that we are all familiar with. So uh, first, let me introduce myself. I am um, Dr. Melinda de la Peña Bandelaria, and I am a full-time faculty um, at the University of the Philippines Open University at present. I am also serving as its chancellor. So when we talk of development communication materials, we all first need to define what is development communication. So for this uh, purpose, I would like to um, um, adopt the definition forwarded by uh, Professor Nora C. Cabral. So uh, Professor Cabral defined development communication as the art and science of human communication applied to the speedy transformation of a country and the mass of its people from poverty to dynamic state of economic growth that makes possible greater social equality and the larger fulfillment of the human potential. So if we are going to take a look at this definition, uh, there is um, a focus on the transformation of a country through its people. So changing, changing um, the, uh, the, the, the quality of life um, of a country's um, citizens uh, geared towards the attainment of greater social equality and larger fulfillment of the human potential. So we have to take note of this definition because as we continue to look at the uh, development communication materials, then we will always go back to this basic definition of what development communication is. So uh, for this particular um, material uh, session, uh, we hope to achieve the following objectives. And of course, first is uh, the description of the development communication materials in terms of its different attributes or characteristics. And uh, for us to identify the appropriate communication media, look at the different platforms which we can use for our development communication initiatives. So when we talk again of development communication materials, we are uh, looking at the following characteristics or attributes. These characteristics had been forwarded by another guru in development communication, that is Professor Juan Hamies. So the first characteristic or attribute of a development communication material is it is purposive. When we say it is purposive, it implies that when we develop or produce a communication material, it has a purpose to serve. So um, usually, uh, this purpose is associated with a development goal or objective. And that means to say that uh, it is focused on the improvement on, uh, of the quality of life uh, of individuals or the transformation of a community or the society. So um, an example of this, uh, for instance, is uh, when we communicate or campaign uh, for um, uh, to, to stop smoking, for people to stop smoking, or for children uh, to wash their hands regularly or uh, before um, eating specifically, or uh, for children to eat nutritious food. So there is a specific purpose and a specific message why um, for, 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 for doing or producing the specific communication material. So there is a purpose and the purpose is always associated with the improvement of the quality of life and always for the greater good. So the second characteristic of a development communication material is it is pragmatic, meaning to say it is practical in its approach in communication. So like for instance, the, what, what takes um, primary consideration um, is the objective. What is the purpose? Why are we communicating? So if we can attain that objective by using a particular communication medium um, and not spend so much, uh, just so that we can relay the information, then that is one attribute of a communication or a development communication material. So like for instance, it will be useless 
to think of websites, to think of um, internet-based communication, even if they will look um, appealing or um, high-tech, for instance, if the audience of our communication process do not have access to the internet. So of what use will be um, a very good website if our audience will not be able to access it because they don't have access to the internet? If the purpose of the communication can be achieved by using a printed material, by using a community play or a digital ex or, or an exhibit, for instance, then we look at that communication platform to relay our development-oriented uh, messages. So it is practical um, and it looks at um, primarily the achievement of the purpose for producing that particular material and of course with the audience the target audience in mind so that's that's uh, the second characteristic or attribute that of being pragmatic or practical the third attribute is it is mass oriented so uh, meaning to say that the primary audience of development communication materials um, is primarily the masses who are often um, the underprivileged and also open the targets of development uh, programs. So when we, when we talk of um, a development communication, so we are probably looking at an entire community, an entire um, group or sector, a group of people uh, whom um, we want to uh, uh, get the message that we are trying to relay using the communication material that we are developing or um, producing. But um, uh, we also have to uh, look into um, that other aspect of uh, communication, uh, also for development, wherein we are also looking at resource mobilization, which is part of development programs. So uh, again, it is targeted to specific um, sectors, but there is a treatment that it can be uh, used for mass uh, communication. The, um, the fourth uh, attribute of uh, development communication material is uh, it is um, scientific in outlook. Meaning to say that development communication materials are results of systematic and careful planning, just like in scientific approach. So uh, we start with identifying the purpose, why we are communicating. Again, we go back to the first um, characteristic or attribute uh, of development communication material that we have discussed, and that is being purposive. So we identify first, what is the purpose? Why are we communicating? What is the objective that we hope to achieve? Why we are producing this particular communication material? So um, we, we first identify the purpose or the reason why we are communicating the audience uh, to whom um, is this communication material intended for, uh, the audience, the receiver of the message uh, contained in the communication material, um, the um, resources that are available for the purpose of this communication process, for the purpose of the uh, development. So um, what, what resources do we have? Um, even if we have uh, so much resources, um, at our disposal to produce the communication materials, then we go back to us being pragmatic. Is it practical uh, to, to, to be using um, this specific uh, communication platform or, or channel, for instance, um, in communicating development-oriented messages? So um, um, if, if we look at the resources that we have and um, balance it, with uh, development communication materials being pragmatic, then uh, we will be able to uh, fully utilize or uh, efficiently utilize whatever resources that we have at our disposal, um, specific, uh, especially those uh, or the resources dedicated or uh, allocated for the production of communication materials. The fifth attribute or characteristic of uh, development communication material is it is relevant. So meaning to say that uh, uh, when we talk of uh, being relevant, development communication materials strive for this uh, by focusing on non-traditional topics, uh, which are given less attention um, in the mass media or the usual um, materials, communi communication materials that um, uh, we are familiar with. So uh, non-traditional topics like environment, health issues, 
poverty, um, or even, even uh, in cases where in development communication materials um, will tackle or cover uh, the usual topics like uh, infrastructure development in a particular community. Um, the way development communication um, practitioners would handle it is such that they will go beyond just stating facts, just stating uh, what is observable, but go beyond that and look at the impact. Look at the impact of uh, this particular um, development uh, project, for instance, uh, the impact on the quality of life of people. So, uh, for instance, uh, the, the, um, uh, in a community, a dam is being built. Uh, so, um, usually, uh, the, the, the traditional media would um, usually cover the benefits, uh, like, for instance, providing irrigation to the farmers or even um, source of water, source of water to different communities. But a development communication material would go beyond that, such that it will also look at the impact, at the impact of this particular project, of this particular initiative on the quality of life of the people who will be affected by this particular um, infrastructure project, for instance. So, uh, and also looking at, is it for the greater good? Are there many people uh, uh, who will benefit and whose quality of lives will be improved uh, because of this uh, specific project, program, or initiative. So a development communication material would always look at that aspect. How will it benefit the people and will it result to the greater good? Not just the, the benefit of a specific organization or a specific individual, a specific sector, but will always look for the benefit of many or what we call the greater good. The uh, sixth characteristic of um, a development communication material is it is uh, value laden. I have mentioned earlier um, that these uh, characteristics uh, were uh, forwarded uh, by Dr. Juan Hamias and uh, one of the gurus of development communication, if we can say so. Um, and um, when uh, we talk of values associated with a piece of information, for instance, then um, we, we, that, that, that particular information will become valuable because of the values associated or attached to it. And when we talk of values, then we are also talking of those values which help improve uh, the human potential or help individuals achieve their potential. Again, uh, towards that objective of improving the quality of their life. So that, 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 that's the kind of values. Those are the values uh, which should be associated to a communication material so that we can classify it as a development communication material. So again, the six attributes or characteristics of a development communication material are purposive, so it has a purpose, Pragmatic, it is practical. Mass-oriented, it looks at um, the uh, characteristics of the big audience uh, wherein the communication material